Hey guys, it's finally here. In this video, we're going to be taking the E46 M3 for a spin in Gran Turismo. <laughs> folks it's finally here e46 m3 in gran turismo in update 1.5 and this is a good day i've been waiting a long time for this so i'm gonna go and take it out on track and uh kind of explain how i have it set up i did some slight modifications to try to get it closer to my track car so i'm gonna do a custom race of E46 M3s. When I first got the game, similar to my car when I first bought it, uh, opponent difficulty, professional, uh, opponent category, one make. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let's do three laps of goodness and um, we'll get going. So like I say, when I first got my real M3, it had a lot of body sway, body roll on track uh, with the stock suspension, and the tires were very slippery. Um, so what I've done on my real car is I've lowered it, I've put ISC N1 track coilovers, which are much stiffer, as well as I went with a 265 square setup. There's the sound, listen to that pretty good pretty close nothing like those independent throttle bodies all right so let's give this a whirl yeah yeah track today so I'll tell you a little bit about my simulator you can see one of the videos of that I'm using a fan attack CSL elite wheel Oh, look at that black one. Looks nice. Force feedback's pretty high. 75. That's mainly because my son, being a kart racer, he likes it's a really stiff. I find I'm a lot slower when I'm trying to talk at the same time, but nonetheless, this is, a, this is not about winning in laptops. This is a lap times. This is a Oh, fashion show. This is... This is the way it should be. Every car is an M3. So I've got the Fanatec CSL Elite wheel. Club Sport V3 pedals. With the manual gearbox. So of course I'm driving manual. I suppose you could use the paddles and simulate an SMG as well if you want to. There goes blue. The Una Sega blue. Perhaps. Oh, that wasn't fun. <laughs> Sorry about that. Bit of a nosedive. Getting distracted here looking at. Not really sure how these bots drive. They don't drive like normal people. In the race, that's for sure. But I didn't think I could find a lobby that had all E46 M3s in it. I go. Oh yeah, see, the uh, bots uh, like to brake check you. So there's one lap. So you can. It's if you have 
the same game and you haven't adjusted your suspension, you'll notice that you have a lot more body roll than I do. To me, that was my best upgrade. The ISC M1 track coilovers, which from Bimmer World, that's where I bought them. Very good price. I wish I could afford something better than that, but. I'm just an enthusiast after all. My goal that time was just to get around that corner. Oh, look at that beauty. So I get distracted looking at the cars inside of me. Good turn in with my alignment setup, which matches my real car. Negative two and a half degrees in the front, negative one and a half in the rear. Oh, see, why did that guy... See, the butt breaks there. I don't break. Uh, zero toe in the front. A little bit of toe in on the rear. Okay, now I've got a wide open track. Just focus on driving instead of drooling. The nice, the lovely shifting technology here in this game. Like my real car, it's pretty underpowered. So you can notice that here. But it makes up for it in handling and just pure pleasure. slow. See if we can do better this time. And of course this would be good for my son. So he can start driving this all winter before we put him in the real deal this summer. <laughs> I suppose you could probably stay in third around that corner. I like to be in a nice low gear though to get up the hill. Oh, turned in a bit late there. That one up. Use the whole track. So it takes a while to get up to speed here. I'm only going 200 kilometers an hour right now. I would say that's pretty accurate too on track. It is pretty low horsepower compared to today's modern cars. Keep it up in the RPMs there while I get up the hill. Once I finish this race, guys, I'll go and show you how I have it set up. I'll probably continue to tweak it. Love to see your setups. If you're also trying to match that one, 23.8, a little bit better, but still not that great. Let's go take a look at the car setup. Get the full thing in there. Yeah, we will. 
So I did lighten it up, as you can see, 3,100 pounds, because I've done a weight reduction program on my car. Um, I switched over to soft just because it, 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 these tires feel closer to what I have. Um, I lowered the ride height and changed the damping ratio, compre ratio compression all the way, stiffen it up. I didn't change the roll ball or bars. I did did change the uh, the camber as well as the toe. And from a gearing point of view, this is probably pretty close. Um, I actually went through and wrote this down once on my exact car, but I can't find that piece of paper, but that's pretty close. So that's a quick tour of the E46 M3 in Gran Turismo. Thank you for listening.